Okay, so now we have a test of the QuickTroll software uh, talking to a Stamp BS2 uh, over a set of XB uh, wireless radios. So in the foreground we have the, uh, the laptop, we have the XB on a little experimenter board on the front end here. The uh, extra chip is just an RS-232 level shifter. Running on the Dell is the QuickTroll software, and you see it has uh, four dials that are analog indicators. You have four sliders to the right, uh, six toggles or uh, selector switches in the bottom left, and then six indicator lights. And as the uh, as the stamp sends information uh, back to QuickTroll it will display what's going on. And the switches on the uh, laptop can control outputs on the stamp. The stamp is being powered completely independently by a 12 volt uh, power pack. We've got a couple of uh, pots right here that I'll be adjusting. We have the ENT stamp board with one BS2 stamp, and there's the, uh, the the mating XB radio on another experimenter board with another RS232 level shifter. Just as a as a quick example, if I go to the laptop and operate a couple of switches, you can see the LED come on. Another LED. Uh, right, right down the line, and back on the software, you can see that we've had two lights change state here to tell you that the outputs are on, and you'll see that the labels on the selector switches have changed. Now, if you look at the two uh, top indicator dials. When I operate the pots over on the stamp, you'll see that they change the position of the needle to give you the value that the pot is sending. And the second one works exactly the same way. We have a slider right here. That controls the brightness of an LED that's blinking on the stamp board. And we have a slider here that actually controls the speed of its blinking. And if you have a look over at the stamp, you can see it's blinking sort of about half, half brightness and at a certain speed. If I can change that speed, now it's blinking very, very quickly slow it down, and then you can actually change the brightness of it. As it as you adjust the slider up and down. The remaining two indicators right now are simply a slave to the two sliders on the right hand side and you can see that uh, if you operate one slider you see that the, the needle goes around and comes back as you adjust the slider and similarly this does exactly the same thing. So right now the, the slider values are being sent to the stamp and over on the stamp you could have your program uh, watching that slider value and turning an LED on or turning an LED off, uh, operating a relay or, uh, or whatever. Or your stamp could be uh, reading some analog value and just sending it back for display here. And all this while, of course, the, uh, the switches are, are available. And you can use them for digital ons and offs. And the indicators are following right along.
the stamp, I've wired one on-off switch. So, for instance, if I turn it on, of course you get the indicator, the input indicator on the stamp board. And back over on the software, you'll see we've got the red indicator right here telling you that that input is on. If I flip the switch, it changes state. The software with all the sketches and whatnot, schematics, parts lists, etc. are available on the website www.sysconsult.com. Thanks.